Hello, my name is Frederick Brown, and I am the Deputy Executive Director with Learning Forward. On behalf of Stephanie Hirsch, our Executive Director, and our Board of Trustees, I bring you greetings from Dallas, Texas, USA. I also bring you greetings as you begin what I know will be a powerful learning experience over these next few days. If I may, I'd like to take a moment just to give you a bit of background about Learning Forward. So our organization is about 50 years old. As a matter of fact, we'll be celebrating our 50th anniversary next year during our Learning Forward annual conference in St. Louis, Missouri. It's hard to believe that for 50 years we've had this focus on professional learning, but we really do believe that if we can focus on the effective professional learning, we know that that'll bring results not just for teachers and their practice, but also for students. We know that the number one school-related factor that contributes to how well our students do is the effectiveness of the classroom teacher. And number two, the effectiveness of the school leader. So that's why we've had a laser-like focus on creating conditions that enable teachers and leaders to be their best. Learning Forward has a set of beliefs that guide our work. If I can take a moment, I'd like to read those beliefs to you. Number one, professional learning that improves educator effectiveness is fundamental to student learning. Number two, all educators have an obligation to improve their practice. The third, more students achieve when educators assume collective responsibility for student learning. Number four, successful leaders create and sustain a culture of learning. And finally, effective school systems commit to continuous improvement for all adults and students. When we were crafting these beliefs about nine years ago, there was a lot of conversation about one of those beliefs. The one, all educators have an obligation to improve their practice. And so I focus on that one now for just a second because we really do believe that if you stand up in front of our children, if you assume this really important work, you absolutely have an obligation to be your best. If you're the best teacher in your school, how can you be the best in the system, in the region, in the country? Our children's futures depend on it. So, as you think about these next few days, I ask you to also to consider the CASAB, K-A-S-A-B. It's an acronym that we use to think about our learning experiences. So the K is for knowledge. It's my hope that you'll commit to learning something new. You have many opportunities to do that over these next few days. The first A in CASAB is for aspirations. So as you enter into this learning experience, what do you aspire to do? What knowledge will you gain that will ultimately benefit your students? The S is for skill. We know that you can learn many things, but it takes skill to apply what you've learned. So think about what skills you'll need over these next few days to apply the learning that you've gained. The second A is for attitudes. What attitudes and beliefs do you bring to this learning experience? Are you ready to dive in? And finally, the B is for behaviors. We know at the end of the day, professional learning only matters if you take what you learn and change your practice change your behaviors in some significant way that aligns to your new learning. So it's my hope that this learning experience will result in new, new practices and new behaviors that you'll take with you into the next school year as well. So with that, I wish you the best. May you have a great learning experience. And again, on behalf of Learning Forward, thank you for investing in your own professional learning.